I post basically a lot of my YouTube videos on here. This one I just uploaded yesterday and using System Restore to repair your computer problems fewer computer crashes equals happier life. And that's why you have this title here, happiness. Fewer problems, more happiness. And some of my observations on television that I watch in the morning. And this one about earthquake in Indonesia. It's funny when you put something on YouTube, something that is really not that controversial and you would get a lot of different reactions. This particular video I posted a year or two ago about the tremors or earthquake in New York City, I got a hundred thousand views and a lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people says it's okay I guess and you can't really comment too much on YouTube because the sp space they give you to comment is not a whole lot so I sort of expounded on the video in my blog here so on your blog you can list just one video or you can have a playlist of videos so this is a playlist of my favorite things when it finish playing so one video knife. it will play another and that's very easy to do you can just go to your YouTube channel go to your video manager or play one of your videos and then under share you click on that and then basically you can share it to any of the websites the one I'm sharing now is blogger and you just click blogger and then your video comes up and you can modify your title somewhat and then click publish and your video would be on your blogger page it's slightly different if you want to embed a whole playlist I have a video I made for that purpose here it is somewhere down here yeah this one embedding your YouTube playlist in your blog It's an easy thing to do. If you want to put or embed your YouTube playlist onto your blog, uh, you can do it fairly simply. So I'm going to put a link for that video for those that are interested in putting a whole listing of your videos. This is rather seamless because Google owns, I think, YouTube and Blogger, so they make everything work together very easily. All right, thanks for watching. There are also, if you want to know how to use Microsoft Expression 4, there are a ton of videos on YouTube teaching you how to do that, if, if you want to learn how to do that. Thanks for watching. So here's the Microsoft Expression Encoder and you also have the Microsoft Expression Screen Capture here. It's already open so I can't really show you but that's what it is.